Hello and welcome. Um, today we're going to be doing a little exercise whereby we make a sports league um, using Excel. Um, and so start up a new workbook um, and copy into that workbook the contents of these cells. Um, you can choose whatever teams you want um, in the range A1 all the way down to H9 you will find um, a record of every game that's been played um, the score for the home team, the score for the away team, whether they won, lost or drew and the number of points they got. If you remember you get three points for a win um, no points if you lose and one point if you draw um, and also we're going to have a total points table so the number of points they got overall um, okay so if you pause it now and I'll see you in a moment right so you're back now the first thing I'd like to do is to automatically calculate the points they get for a win lose and draw and ideally I don't want to have these columns E F and G I just want it all to go into total points but to illustrate the concept I'm going to use um, these three columns so first of all in order I want this to say three and um, if it's um, the home team um, have got more than the away team and I'm realizing now that I've quickly got to change these and um, I'll need to insert three more columns because I'm going to need to have a home win a home lose and a home draw and the number of points um, that they've got overall will need to be po points for the away team and points for the home team. So what I'm going to do is in order to insert four rows, I'm going to right click on that and then go insert. So I highlighted the four and click insert and I will drag, while well, they're all highlighted, I'll drag them and that means that all of them will be the same size. And then I'll go um, win, lose, and draw and points and um, it's a bit meaningless because we don't know whether that's the home team or the away team so you're going to insert a column there insert and up here I'm going to put home team um, and over here I'm going to put away away team and then I'm going to centre merge and centre these which is done here merge there we go and do the same for that one merge brilliant um, so now I've got my uh, the number of points that my home team gets the number of points that my away team gets um, and then I'm going to work out whether the away t the home team has won so in that case this score will be higher than this score. So win, and so in order to calculate that I'm going to use a, a function called an if function and type in equals if. I'm just going to zoom in on this. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Equals if uh, this cell is bigger than this cell, then I want the value to be 3. Enter. So at the moment it's going hash, 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 which means that false, it didn't have any value. Ideally, I'd like that to say zero if it wasn't three, because you get three points for a win, and no points for a lose. And so we're going to put comma zero, and the comma means if the value is false, so if it's not bigger than the one, then it'll be zero. Enter. Good. I'm going to copy replicate that formula down, that's by hovering over the um, square box, copy replicate it down into here. So you can see that um, Leeds United beat uh, Manchester United and so they get three points there. So we're going to work out the same thing for a lose. Now very quickly I've just realised that we don't actually need the lose column and the reason for that is because you get zero points for a lose so it wouldn't affect the total points overall. So I'm going to delete those columns by highlighting the whole column right clicking and clicking delete and then equally here highlight the lose column right click and click delete and so so I'm going to need to calculate 
whether it's a draw. And in that case, it'll be a draw if the home score is equal to the away score. So therefore, that's equals if brackets this cell equals this cell, then it's going to be 1, otherwise 0. Enter. So that's not a draw. I think I've included one that is a draw down here. That's right. Um, and that was the game between uh, Shrewsbury Town and Liverpool Football Club. Although Shrewsbury would probably win in that circumstance. So we'll put that 5 2. Um, I'll even up another game. Um, Leeds United vs Liverpool 2 2. There we go. And that's what the good thing about Excel is that it automatically recalculates values. And so you don't need to. I press a button to recalculate all your formula once you type things in, it does it automatically. Um, and then finally, I'd like to see the number of points on the scoreboard. And so in order to do that, I'm going to need to add these two values together. So that is an equals sum brackets this one to this one. Just zooming on that formula for you. And that's equals E to F3. Um, enter. I'm just going to drag that down. So now this is adding up all the values in here. Um, equally, I'll need to do it on the away teams. And what I think I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to copy the formulas, control copy, and paste them in. And hopefully, because the cell references are relative, it should work. We'll have a look at what the formulas they've put in are. Have a look. So now in the win formulas, it said if this one is greater than this one, which is actually unfortunate. So because it's moved the formulas too far across, so I can't just copy and paste that. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to retype the formula in with, and I can actually drag this over to here. So if this one, this is the away team, if the away. Um, If the away team score is bigger than the home team score, let's, see, let's do that again. So if the away team score is bigger than the home team score, then it's three. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I think that's happened. Yeah, right. So the away team won there. And so therefore Liverpool get an extra point. Um, and of course, for the away team, the number of points that they will draw will also be um, exactly the same as this row. So in this case, I can just um, I could either just write equals that one there, and then copy and replicate that down. But if the spreadsheet moves around later, it might be quite problematic. And so what I'll do is I'll just type it in again. So if equals if this equals this then one else zero and copy replicate that down um, and then finally um, I'd like to add these two together I'll show you another method for doing that now if you want to add two just two small cells together you can write equals that one plus equals that one plus that one. Enter. That will insert the formula for you. Um, now what I what I'd like to do actually is instead of having a different column for win and draw, I'd like to have it all in a single statement. And this is what we call a nested if statement. Um, and so I want to get rid of this column and this column and have the whole formula in here. Um, and so to do that I'm just going to delete what I've done. If I can. Okay. Uh, delete. Um, 
So I'm going to delete the values in this column, and I'm going to actually going to delete these two rows. And then I'm also going to delete these two rows. And you'll see that all the formulas have gone wrong. here, click contents, there we go, and I'm going to type them in again. So this is the number of points that you get um, for the home team, um, and so in order to do that, for, I'm going to need to do what's a net called a nested if statement. So in here, I'm going to write if brackets, if this value is bigger than this value, then it should be 3, else if Brackets. So this is where I've nested the if, if this value equals this value, um, then it should be 1, otherwise it should be 0. So in there that says, if C3 is bigger than D3, then it's 3 points, but else, if C3 equals D3, then it's 1 point, otherwise it's 0. Then I need to place one final bracket on the end because it's got an if statement inside an if statement and the number of brackets either side always needs to be equal. So I'll drag that out, copy replicate that formula, and you'll see here that you know the, the number of points has been amalgamated. I also need to do the same for the away team points. Um, and I'm wary that I can't just copy replicate this formula, which would be nice if I could just do that. Um, because when I look at the values, you'll see that they've all shifted across and actually I want them to stay in the same place. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. That's called absolute cell referencing. Um, what you want to do is you place a dollar sign in front of the aspect of the cell reference that you want to stay the same. So in this case, as it drags down, I want the number to change. So the 3 needs to change to 4, etc. However, what I don't want to change is the column, as in the Cell. So I'm going to put a dollar in front of there. So dollar C, no dollar in front of the, in front of the three dollar D. If and I need to put the dollars back in there. So dollar, dollar, and then that's fine. So. I've put the dollars in now, and I should be able to copy replicate that down, and also now copy replicate that across. And so I'm a little bit worried in this instance because this three seems to be the same on either side, and it shouldn't be there. If that's one, then that one there should have lost. And the problem with that is because my greater than and less than signs are wrong, um, because it's changed. We're now assessing is this one bigger than this one, and so I'm going to delete and replace those and that should now work yeah that's correct so I'm going to do that on all of them that's good and copy that down brilliant so you'll see now that the points have been um, setups for each of the team for the win um, for the away and the home team and um, finally